Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about an application called Ask FPV. Now, theoretically, this hopefully should be the number one application to have any of your FPV questions answered. So if you needed help, that's where you would go. So this app I have been developing for about three months now behind the scenes, and I feel I'm pretty confident that it's kind of ready for release. It works flawlessly. I've released the beta a couple days ago. We have around 256 members currently, and a lot of people are getting their questions answered. So what is this application? So what it aims to do is for you just to go there, ask a question, and just quickly get answered. Now, that's not the end of the story there. There's more to that. So the top three people who have helped the most people uh, are eligible for premium giveaways from me personally. Later on, as it grows and it gets bigger, I'll also be trying to bring in companies to do giveaways as well. Um, now, regarding ads, there will be no ads in the main concept of the application. You will not see any Google ads pop up every five seconds. You will not see a single ad. That is my main goal here. It is only to get people help. And it's, it's basically a product by the community, for the community. It's your dedicated place for your FPV questions instead of having to scour the internet. Later on, we'll be implementing, or I will be, sorry, hopefully I will get some Android developers to help me uh, on this. Um, and you know, I'm really hoping for that, actually, because I've been doing everything myself. Uh, later on, I would like to implement the messaging system so you can message uh, people and also some sort of a, well, news section also. I'll, I'll probably show you that later on. I'm currently prototyping it where <clears throat> I'll have like get FPV coupons, Banggood coupons, we'll have Hollybro, HGLRC, uh, whatever company I could get and talk with, I'll give them special accounts where they can go in and post their stuff in a separate section than this. So you can actually, let's actually take a look at this. So you'd open the menu, you'd go to the news section and there you'd have coupons, new products, uh, all kinds of stuff there. And I'm thinking of allowing some sort of a commenting system that is moderated by uh, me, not the poster. So if there are any issues of a new product, you guys would know there. So obviously after you confirm it or whatever, but I think that would be a nice way to also, um, you know, talk to the companies directly about their new product. Like, oh, why'd you guys do this? You should have done this. It might make for an overall better product at the end of the day, which that's just one thing. Coupons also, real coupons from companies that I'm trying to get for you guys on this application as well. Also a messaging system soon. Um, after the news section, what I'm planning on doing is doing uh, not a social media platform within itself. It's kind of like a separate section where you can post your social media stuff. Like whether you have an Instagram, there's a place for Instagram where I'll parse, you know, different accounts. You could write me and I'll add yours and automatically go get that stuff. Um, also, maybe your YouTube channel as well. So just to get more people recognition within our community, instead of having to scour the internet, try to make it into a nice compact place. But one step at a time, we don't want to jump too far ahead. The main goal right now is, so if you were stuck or you had a question, go ahead and ask it. Uh, somebody will respond to you. And if not, I will, because I'm constantly going through these when I'm actually not doing any work. So when on my spare time, I go through these and I try to answer people. Uh, but recently I've been very busy with the whole UI changes here and also the speed improvements. The link to the application, currently it's only Android. It is linked down below. It's a Google Drive uh, URL currently. I'm still waiting for Play Store to approve it. There's also a Discord, which I'll have linked down below where you can send your suggestions, your bugs that you find, or if you want to just chit chat. Uh, I'm also there checking that. And um, yeah, let me quickly show you how this app actually works. I, mean, I don't think I showed you guys. So for example, this guy just posted, I don't know how long. I need to fix this to say like five hours ago, two hours ago, two days. Uh, I'll fix that later on already got an answer here let's see i fly them all and kisses my favorite we'll do a look there we'll do a like there they got my notification that i liked it and uh this is a scroll box by the way so i haven't fixed it I'll, i'm still working on the ui currently i'm taking suggestions from everybody i'm not the best designer in the world when it comes to ui so i try to do the best as i can uh it was way worse than this when i first released the one the first one it took me some time to kind of do this i kind of did it kind of like the gmail uh, menu here because everybody's probably used to that so you can just swipe it from there notifications down here and you have your profile here now for the profile section this will be completely redone later on it'll have statistics about you it'll have your rewards or your upvotes you know for the reward system uh your inbox i'll be having an inbox separated from uh, the not notification you can't really do anything with them right now and if you click on one it just takes you to the person's account 
Uh, I'll be fixing that later on. Also with the push notifications, it'll just open the application and you're going to have to, you know, go to your notification, figure out where the answer is. That'll be fixed in the next update. I promise you that or next two updates. So again, it's a very simple application. And if you want to do just ask a question, you just click ask right away. You say, I need help with binding uh, my XM plus just like that. When you, you could even add a picture, by the way, not multi picture. You could only add one picture right now currently. But if you reply to your own post and I'll be working on the multi upload picture later on and you can say receiver here and now you can see it's under receiver. Oh, shit, I spelled that wrong. But what's really nice is I think we could edit. We could edit our question. Say, I need help. Now, when you edit your question, uh, the person, the people that have replied to you um, do not. Uh, we, uh, let's change the test post. Uh, they do not get a notification that you've edited it. But I think I should write that down, actually. So to do list here, I'm just going to say um, notify on edit question because it's a question. Did I spell notify wrong, really? <clears throat> So yeah, I'm just going to leave that note for myself right there. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys uh, check it out. Also help other people um, and meet other people as well. And if you guys have more ideas and more suggestions, the Discord's open. Also the email, I'll have the email that's dedicated for this uh, in the description below. It's uh, fpvask because I couldn't find ask fpv. It's fpvask at gmail. And you could use that also. I mean, just send bugs and and suggestions also and you could also use the discord if you wanted to or you could use the application itself it does have those categories which i'll be removing from the latest very soon but um you can see here report bugs app suggestions and test posts if you wanted a test post sell some people wanted a sell section so i set that up there sell at your own risk i'm not you know in any way form uh, responsible for whatever the hell happens to you there uh it's just a category and you decide what, what that means for yourself and well that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed it everything's linked down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace